Hello there and welcome to another video tonight or today. I usually say today, but normally I record these videos in the evening from, I don't know, 6 to 12 sort of thing. But you get the point. Alright, so here is the um, Sonic Loop example I posted um, a while back ago. But uh, I didn't post a uh, tutorial for it, I just posted the file. So uh, tonight, today, we are going to uh, recreate this. Alright, All right, so let's open the example file. You can find this under the description below. Alright, and uh, yeah, if you run this right now, you'll notice that uh, you have lost your scrolling. And you can no longer scroll. Whoa, what is happening? Alright. I'm going to exit this and um, let's have a look at what we got here. All right, uh, I got two counters. I have a background here, a front ground for for this background. Uh, two objects here to act as sensors. This they're nothing special; they're just pictures. And um, these two objects here at the bottom. All right. Uh, one facing this way and the other one facing right okay and uh, if you take a look at their properties uh, you'll notice that these are um, path objects you can see that this uh, path begins here it goes around and it comes back down secondary object or the other object okay those are basically the opposite it goes around this way and it comes back down again Right. If you double click on this um, uh, objects, all right, you notice that they have uh, I think uh, is it 32 di directions? I think it's um, this one is 32. So this must be 16 directions. Okay. So if you wanted this uh, to be a little bit more detailed, you can make this uh, 32. But uh, 16 seems to work fine for now. Alright, so let's go to the uh, event editor. And in here, I am going to um, set up a new um, comment. Oops. I'm going to call this um, delay loop. Set the background to pink. Alright. Alright, so there is our comment. Let's create an always and uh, let's set this counter equals the speed of the uh, character. All right, movement, speed, straight out. And you can see that uh, our tap speed is uh, 50. Okay. And uh, we could set a scrolling in the, um, in the same line here, always, but uh, we're going to do it with this uh, counter. Okay, I'm going to set this um, counter equal zero. Then we get to center the window position relative to this object straight out. And you can see that that works fine. Unless if you notice um, our character top speed is 50. All right. Except for when he jumps. Let's uh, make it so if we collide with um, with this object here, uh, we destroy the object. But only if our speed is over 40. All right. Collision between him and the um, purple object. What's the purple? It is a purple object, okay? And uh, if that happens, we are going to destroy our uh, main character. We are going to set our uh, counter, our first counter, to 1. Straight out. Okay, that destroys the object. And that's what we want. And um, in the same line, when this happens, we are going to uh, create another object. And this is going to be uh, app, app, Active Object 4, which I should probably label to 
right? Let's uh, create that object. And uh, we're going to create it uh, relative to his position. Okay, so basically in the same spot where we destroyed the original. Let's try it out. And you can see that that works already. Except for the scrolling. Let's uh, clone this. Set this uh, to 1. And remember, we set this uh, counter to 1. So that's why the scrolling stops working. And that's because we want to change uh, the scrolling uh, relative to this. Um, uh, this other object. Okay, so let's uh, try it out. You can see that that works fine. All right, so let's have a look at the path object. All right, it is the, um, the right path object. And you, you can see that it goes right around. And um, whenever we finish the uh, path, we want to destroy the object. Okay, so let's create a condition for that. Under movement, path object has finished its path. Then it is starting to destroy it. You can see that um, this is going to work okay. And he gets destroyed. Alright. Let's uh, create a new uh, copy of the real um object relative to the position of right straight out so whenever the path finish we create a new copy of the uh, real object but we have lost our scrolling all right because this counter is now set to one let's set that back to zero so we can resume scrolling Straight out. And you can see that that works fine, except for our character is sort of like stuck there. And we don't want that. It is our main character. We're going to set the direction to right. Let's set his um, acceleration to 50 and his speed to 50 as well i think that was set to 50 already let's uh, try it out and you can see that that works fine except for this little glitch here okay this is not supposed to happen and uh, to fix that we simply um filter this only if we are pressing the right key okay so now i need to be holding the right key for that to work all right now if i do a left it's not going to do it all right so let's do the same thing for the left side let's go to the uh, event editor and i'm going to copy line 10 and um, if counter equals 2 then we uh, change the scrolling to uh, the second path object. All right, I'm going to clone uh, line 12 and replace it for the light blue aqua object. And instead of right, we're going to uh, change this to left. And uh, instead of creating a left right object we're going to create a left object which i should probably label um right now call this uh left let's create a left object relative to his uh, position we destroyed the original and we set the counter to two all right let's try it out You can see that it works fine for the right. It looks like the background needs to be adjusted. 
and that works fine all right let's uh, do um endo path switch the object to uh, left and uh, we are going to create a main object from the left uh, path object and um, we're going to switch the direction to uh, left everything st stays the same we are going to destroy uh, not the right object but the uh, left object oops and uh, we are setting the counter back to zero all right straight out that works fine let's try from the left to right or right to left it, it kind of glitched that time there let's uh find out why this one works fine Yeah, it kind of like slow down there a little bit. Let's find out why. What's going on there? Um, let's see. Okay, that's because we are uh, creating the object after. Okay, so we need to create it before, and then set the uh, direction of the object. Also, want to destroy this right away. Straight out. This one on this side seems to work fine. And that works fine. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to adjust uh, the way we trigger these um, actions. Alright. Right now, the only two requirements um, to trigger the action is to, for me to hold the uh, right key and for the collision to happen all right and um, same for the left let's fix that let's go to the uh, event editor and uh, line 12 we are going to do an insert and this is only going to work if our counter is greater or equals 50 right while we're here, we can probably just paste the same action into uh, line 13. Let's try it out. I'm going to position myself over here and I'm going to press and hold the right key. And you can see that that doesn't work because um, my speed needs to be 50. I'm going to do the uh, left side and you can see that that works fine as well let me try it from here mm, nope it doesn't work because uh the speed wasn't 50. okay maybe from here is gonna work yay let's try it from here and you can see that that works fine. Alright. Thanks for watching.